But there is one more thing. <laughs> there is one more thing that we want to tell you about today. It's pretty great. So let's look at iPod market share. And let's go back a year in time. Let's go back to January 2004, a year ago. iPod's market share was about 31%. Flash music players had a share of 62%. And the iPod wannabes were about 7%. That was a year ago. Now, a year ago, we introduced a new product called the iPod Mini to go after the high end of the flash market. Well, it's a year later. How'd we do? January 2005. I am pleased to report that the iPod's market share has doubled to 65%. The flash market share has been cut in half to 29%, and the wannabes are down a percent to 6%. In one year, very rarely do you get a before and after snapshot like this. The iPod mini worked. So what's next? Well, we'd like to go after the remaining mainstream flash market. So we've taken a look at this market, and it's a zoo. There's a zillion little flash players. And the market's incredibly fragmented. Nobody has very much market share. Nobody's investing, marketing, and growing the market. The products are all pretty much the same. So let's just take a look. We pick one of them and take a look. They all have some attributes. First of all, <laughs> they, most of them are powered by AAA batteries, which are not rechargeable. So what that means is you're going to feed this thing about $100 worth of batteries a year. Not such a good investment. But let's even forget about the batteries for now. The real key here is that these products are trying to be as easy to use as an iPod, but they've got these very tiny displays and no click wheels. they just got these little buttons. And the result is a real tortured user interface. They're really hard to use. They're hard to find your music. You're sitting there trying to navigate around these things, and it's a lost cause. Well, we don't want to make another one of these. There's plenty of them. We want to make something that's really great if we're going to enter this market. We want to make something that's even easier to use than the existing iPods. Because if this is going to be our entry-level product, we want to bring even more people in to the digital music revolution. This is not the way to go. So we noodled on this for a while. And we realized we, we had to come up with a, a, a new original idea that would make a product that was way better than this, where you didn't have to go through these tortured user interfaces to listen to your music. And then we saw it. It was clear as a bell. Something happened in the iPod market with all of our iPod users last year. They discovered a new way to listen to their music that became the most popular way that iPod users listen to their music. And what is that? Shuffle. With Shuffle, you don't have to find your music. It shuffled up for you. And we decided to base a flash bass player around Shuffle. And so today, we are introducing the iPod Shuffle. And this is what it looks like. It's unbelievable. And it is so great to use. But let me first show you what it looks like. It's really tiny. Headphones plug in the top. Now, it is smaller than most packs of gum. Okay? There's a lot of packs of gum out there, so I went and got a few. But it's smaller than most packs of gum. It weighs about the same as four quarters. That is under one ounce. It weighs less than an ounce. Now, how do you use it? It's so simple. You've got a very simple set of controls here. To play and pause your music, you've got a button. Volume up and down. Very easy. Previous and next song. It couldn't be easier. And you get some great feedback with some LEDs as you go through these things. So you know exactly what's going on. It really works, and it's really simple. 
and you can shuffle your music, listen to your, your songs in a million different ways, which has become so popular on iPod. Or by flipping a switch in the back, you can listen to your music start to finish in a playlist. So if you've got a new album you want to listen to, just put that at the top and listen to it as an album. Now, the iPod Shuffle has a cap on the bottom. Pop off the cap, there's a USB connector. USB 2 for fast transfers. And it's got a 12-hour rechargeable battery, so you're not feeding this thing with expensive batteries. And of course, you can plug it in to your PC or your Mac. And there's something else really cool you can do with it. You can turn it upside down, and we supply a lanyard with it, and you can put it right on. Let me show you how that works. This is the new iPod Shuffle. Take off the cap, click it right on, you're set to go. So let me show you what this looks like again. Very, very simple. Really fun. And again, you can see how small it is. Really tiny. The new iPod Shuffle. But that's not the whole story. Because where we've really brought great value to the digital music era is the integration between the device and the jukebox where your music is. And that's what we've done with the iPod Shuffle. So we've taken iTunes and we've invented something new for the iPod Shuffle. And that's called Autofill. So what you can do is push this button. And it will go through your music library or any playlist you want and it will pick songs in order or at random or pick your most played songs more often and it will automatically build a playlist that is of the precise size that fits on your iPod Shuffle. And so when you plug in your iPod Shuffle at the bottom of that playlist is autofill. You can manually fill your iPod Shuffle or you can just click a button and autofill it. It's really, really cool. And you can use your iPod Shuffle as a USB storage device too because right in the preference you can enable disk use and choose how much space you want to dedicate to your songs and how much space you want to dedicate to data. So iPod Shuffle plus the new version of iTunes that comes with it is killer. Now, how do we stack up against all these other Flash players out there? Well, the most popular size out there is 256 megabytes. That holds about 60 songs. And the prices range, there's a few at $99, a few at like $169, but $149 is about the sweet spot for those guys. Well, the new iPod Shuffle is going to come in two models. The first model, 512 megabytes, holds 120 songs, twice as much as the sweet spot of today's flash market. And the price, $99. We're really serious about this. <laughs> the second model has a gigabyte of memory, holds 240 songs, and the price on that is $149. <laughs> this is the box that iPod Shuffle comes in, and we are shipping them out of the factory starting today. <laughs> 